Hi guys and welcome back. Today is Saturday and I thought I would show you how to make a nice breakfast. We're going to make some granola and it is slightly healthy. There's no sugar in it. It's kind of got more things like maple syrup and honey. So as you can see Maria has lovingly written up the recipe for you there. So I'm going to plow ahead and just put everything into this bowl. So I'm putting in 300 grams of rolled oats. I already have my oven preheated um, to 150 degrees. I'm going to add 100 grams of flaked almonds and I have 50 grams each of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. Now I know the recipe calls for sesame seeds but I actually don't have any, I forgot to get them. Um, but you can go ahead and put in just four tablespoons of sesame seeds. I also have 50 grams of coconut in here. You could use flaked coconut if you have it, like coconut flakes, I just don't have any. So I'm gonna mix them all up, and then I'm going to add in the ingredients that bind it together. So in the jar over here, I have uh, all my um, wet ingredients. So I've got 125 mils of maple syrup. I have two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And how much honey do I have? Two tablespoons of honey and a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla is the thing that makes the world go round. So I'm just gonna pour everything in here. And I'm going to bind it all together. And this is what's gonna make your granola nice and crunchy, okay? Leave that over there. As you can see, I've already got my baking tray lined with some greaseproof paper. Honestly, I don't really like greaseproof paper. I much prefer parchment paper, but I just, you know, it's one of those things, it's not an essential item to be going to the shop for, is it? But I must put it down on my shopping list. So, just going to bind it all together like that. Make sure you have all your oats coated. Otherwise, it'll be more like a, a muesli as opposed to a nice granola. So I don't know how you like to eat your granola. Some people like it here with milk, just like as in a breakfast cereal. Some people like it with natural yogurt. I wish I was one of those people who liked natural yogurt, but I just don't like it. It's just not sweet enough for me. So I buy the yogurt that is 0% um, fat and uh, it has a little bit of vanilla in there. See me and vanilla, we go back a long way. So that looks like it's all nicely coated and I'm just literally going to tip it out into the baking tray like this. If you find that your, um, your mixture is heaped on your baking tray, just use two baking trays, okay? Because you really want this to, what happens is it will cook on the top and the sides first and not underneath. So nicely spread out like that. Um, and it's also one of those things that you're just gonna have to keep an eye on. So I'm gonna set my timer on my phone or on my oven, which honestly has taken me about 10 years to figure out how it works. But I'm going to pop this into the oven, 150, and I'm going to check it again in about 10 minutes, or even maybe 7 or 8 minutes, because there's nothing worse than burning granola. I'll be right back. i this out of the oven after about um, 10 minutes, and I want to show you how over the sides, see it's just slightly starting to brown, or golden, golden around the sides. So at this point, you want to just move it, around give it a good stir all the way around try and get the outside bits into the middle and move the outs in middle bits to the outside because the outside part of your oven is always hotter than the uh, the center so i'm just going to literally scrape everything around like that and shove back out try and get the middle bits out to the edge and i know you're thinking to yourself you won't bother doing this part burnt way too many batches of granola not to do this. And everybody likes 
the um, crunchy bits. Okay, pop back in for another 10 minutes and we'll check it again. Here we go, we're all done. Uh, as you can see, it's a lovely caramel almost color. Lovely and uh, crispy. Now, in an ideal world, you would put that to cool down on a tray um, because if you put it straight into a bowl now, it will all clump together and you'll find it hard to separate. But because we don't have time for that, I'm going to pop it in here just to show you all what it's like. If I can manage to do it without spilling it, this is a good tip for moving it. Just scrunch your pieces of greaseproof paper together and just slide in like that. I forgot to mention another way I like to eat this is with a few berries, some strawberries and raspberries and uh, a little bit of granola or vanilla yogurt and then sprinkle this on top. It's just delicious. So there you go. That is our wonderful, uh, gorgeous granola. And um, it's absolutely delicious. Super easy to make. So um, I hope you can tune in tomorrow. Um, I forgot to mention as well that the pork fillet is on special offer in a supermarket local. If you want to have it and um, buy it in tonight, get some breadcrumbs as well. And I'll show you how to, to make that tomorrow. You could have it for your Sunday dinner. Thank you all for watching and God bless. See you soon.